Jacob want us to be joyful and to use this time to remember his spirit and how he changed the city that he loved so much. I believe he would want us to leave here with smiles on our faces, joy in our hearts, and with a purpose to make Jacksonville a better place for everyone. Jake was extraordinarily loyal. Um, he was loyal to his family, Ben, Matilda, Morgan, his brother, Lynn, his sister, Charlene, and Faye, Jean, his wife, who he, he adored. Loyal to the friends that served with him to help him get elected, loyal to the folks that helped him govern. Uh, and this loyalty we observe is a two-way street. And, and looking around this room, so many folks are here uh, out of deep loyalty to Jake. And I know for that, he is extraordinarily grateful. He made this city what it is. And the way he did it was to make each and every one of us like ourselves. He said, if you don't like you, you're not going to make anybody else like your city. If you don't like this city, Betty, then you ought to move. What a wonderful world. His big vision was getting an NFL team and we all thought that was kind of strange also. The difference with Jake, he not only had the vision, but he also had the energy to make the vision a reality. Perhaps a vision without the energy is just an illusion. Always simply known as Jake, I will always remember Jake Godbold as mayor, my friend, and as a fighter for change, he only wanted people to do the right thing. Everything from waterfront development to downtown development to arts and culture. And we were very fortunate to have such an tra energetic, transformational figure as mayor of our community. I'm going up yonder. Going up yonder. There was something about not just his love for Jacksonville, but um, really he kind of had a feel. He gave off an aura like Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt did t during the Depression, what Ronald Reagan did in the 1980s. He instilled hope. He instilled a positive aspect of the community as it is right now. It was a vibe that's really, really hard to describe. Rest assured, there is no R.I.P., you know how they put those on, resting in peace for him. Oh, no. He told Rick Catlett and me many times, all I do is beat those damn drums. And he would tell us in, in lunch and he'd have the thing. And he said, I have to, I have to keep the city enthused. Well, we know what he's doing in heaven. He's beating those damn drums. And keep beating them, Mr. Mayor. We love you. We appreciate you and honor you. And Lord, we sent you our best. God bless you, Mr. Mayor. We all had the best of times because of you. You know, when you leave this world, you want to make it better. When I leave Jacksonville, I wanted to, to say, hey, he made it a better place. He added a lot to the to quality of life.